focusing on um, classification algorithms. Now classification is something which is uh, very commonly used in the analytics world across a number of different problems in marketing, risk, e-commerce, IoT, across uh, various applications. And if you see all the work that an analytics professional does, maybe 75, 80% revolves around some sort of classification algorithm. So therefore I thought that I'll come and speak a little bit about it, not from a theoretical perspective, but almost uh, uh, what we observe in the field. So I call it uh, field notes. So because when you look at some of these from a theoretical perspective, uh, there's a different set of meaning, but when you apply them, you get to learn something very different from the field and you get to see all the different problems that you encounter in the field. So I thought I'll talk a little bit about the problems that we see in the field with regards to classification algorithms. So, I mean, if you see the Indian analytics landscape is becoming very, very interesting. I mean, if you look at another five, seven, or even 10 years back, Indian analytics industry was predominantly all the captives and the outsourcing players, where People used to do analytics for companies in US, UK and so on. But now the space is getting a lot more uh, crowded, a lot more diversified. Uh, one, lot many of the Indian companies are going to embrace analytics and are embracing analytics very fast. So there is demand and competition coming out from there. Then there is uh, there are a lot of the startups which are coming up. Uh, many of them are working pretty cutting edge stuff on big data, machine learning area. And a lot of this outsourcing is almost now evolving into R&D or analytics related R&D which is being done in India. So this space is becoming a lot more diverse. That's, that's definitely for one. Uh, the other is uh, the competition for talent is increasing because all of these avenues are attracting talent. And everything said and done, the talent pool available in analytics in India is still very limited. So it is becoming competitive. Uh, from a talent perspective and if you look at from a business perspective particularly for companies which are trying to build an analytics analytics or a data consulting business in india uh, they are grappling with a lot of the challenges of the emerging market because many of these methodologies approaches were developed in an us uk kind of scenario and when companies are trying to adopt them to an indian scenario they are grappling with those challenges and therefore they are also having some amount of false promises to Indian companies. And that is creating some amount of sort of dissonance and competition is hitting up because now an IBM or a Deloitte is also focusing as much on the India market from the consulting space. So yes, it is becoming very competitive both for talent and both for getting new business. And we are increasingly seeing adoption of these in the Indian context. It's, it's going to take some amount of time because if you see from a talent development perspective, uh, over the last three to four years, number of companies have started developing analytics talent in addition to the academia. So places like Jigsaw, Upgrad, Ages School, there are quite a few institutions which have come and they are doing their bit. Uh, but the maturation of talent is going to take some time. So we are getting good people who are now coming up at the analyst level, but they have to sort of mature through the curve, get little experience, look at more diversity of uh, projects, diversity of problems to mature to a level where we really want them to be. And that is going to take some time. Um, so I think this whole talent scarcity will remain for the next four to five years. By the time you will start seeing talent coming out. On the other hand, if you look at the, uh, the analytics applications in the Indian market, uh, the Indian uh, businesses are getting matured. And that is happening a lot by the digital adoption as well, because digital businesses are very uniform across geographies. Because uh, e-commerce is an e-commerce, be it in US or in India. So the more of the digital part of the businesses are propelling all Indian businesses to be more analytical. So the more of digital penetration that we see, the more analytics will grow. So I would say in another four to five years, some of these challenges will be almost overcome. Okay. 
So uh, uh, I belong to this company called Tata Insights and Quants, and uh, we are part of the Tata Group, which you know is a 150-year-old group. And however, we are a company which is 15-month-old. So we are a 15-month-old company in a 150-year-old group, and the reason why we have been uh, set up is to evangelize the adoption of analytics and data-driven decision-making within the group. So our charter is to almost at the very frontier of analytics adoption in India. Because the Tata Group companies are one of the forerunning companies in the Indian economy. And we are helping them adopt analytics. And it is not an easy process. So there are challenges in data, there are challenges in mindset, and we have to use analytics and educate people, show POCs, and slowly drive an adoption of analytics. Therefore, for us, uh, events like Cypher are very, very important for us because the more people get to know and understand analytics, the easier our job is. So that way, I always thank Bhaskar for being a great help for us in sort of marketing analytics per se. What I always say, you don't have to market any company, you have to market the concept. So, uh, so that is essentially what we are trying to do, market the concept of analytics and data-driven decision-making in this group, which is not easy given that it's a 150-year-old institution. Our experience is great, um, like last year. First of all, uh, this time this being a three-day event, uh, it's, there's a lot more of breadth of content, there is a lot more diversity of content, which is great. Um, I, like everyone else, was worried with all the problems that happened uh, in, in our city prior to that. But fortunately, it looks like everything is fine. Um, so, so it's a great event. It's a great event for people to know what's happening, people to network, people to understand what are some of the new things that are being tried out. So I think it's a great opportunity for us. So it's almost like, an, like the Christmas of analytics.